So after you set up your legal pages, let's go ahead and install some apps that we need in order to set up this dropshipping store. So for the example for this store, I'm gonna go ahead and set up like a swimsuit store, uh, just kind of a summertime vibe store. So we're gonna sell swimsuits in this store. So what you're gonna do is go to the apps tab here on the side and actually overload. This is the app we need right now, but just for the sake of showing you the app store and how it works, uh, we're gonna go ahead and visit the Shopify app store, top right corner, just click on that button and it's gonna open up a new link, uh, open up a new tab and it'll take you to the Shopify app store. Now, every single one of these apps is built to work with your Shopify store. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, some of them are monthly cost, um, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get Oberlo. So right here you can search Oberlo. And you can see it's the first one that comes up. This is a drop shipping app that allows you to import products from other websites into your store. So you don't have to do anything, you don't have to set up anything. Let's click on this. And so this is just, you can hit add app, but I just wanna explain a little bit. This will tell you what it does. Uh, it'll tell you all about it. Um, every app will have a pricing strategy. So this one's free. So let's go ahead and install this. You just hit it, add app. It'll bring up this page. It'll go ahead and ask you, you're about to install Oberlo. This is what it's gonna do. Just hit install app. And once it's installed, it'll take you to the Oberlo dashboard. And this is where you manage any of your products and your orders and stuff that are specifically through Oberlo dropshipping. Now that we have Oberlo installed, we need one other thing. Uh, you can import products from this Oberlo itself. You could just hit search product and it's very, very simple. For example, if you wanted this product in your store, you can just click add to import list. Yeah, I'll show you right now. Go to your import list. Now it's in your import list. You can change the title if you want. You could say uh, wooden eco friendly tooth brush. You could tag it with, uh, this is just for you to be able to organize. Or maybe you could tag it with something like hygiene or something and just hit enter. So now it's saved to that. And you just hit up here. Uh, also, you can change the description here. Uh, these are the varieties. So there's different sets you can have. You can see this one's like all white. This one's uh, different colors, all kinds of things you could do. Uh, images. These are the images that are going to be included. It's really simple, guys, and you could literally just hit import to store. And it's done. So if we go back to your Shopify and go to products, you should see right there, wooden eco-friendly toothbrush. It's in your store, it's for sale. But I'm gonna show you a different way to import products with a Burlo uh, into your store. And that's with the Oberlo Chrome extension. Now, you do need to be using Chrome as a browser in order to have this extension. I'm not sure if other browsers have it, but Chrome does. So in order to install extensions into Chrome, you can just do a quick Google search of uh, Chrome extension store. There we go. So right here, Chrome Web Store. And in the extensions tab, we're gonna look for Oberlo. And there it is. So this extension allows you, you just hit add extension. This extension allows you to import products from other sites into Oberlo. So now that we have this extension here, it should show up right at the top here. And uh, we're gonna use AliExpress to import these products into your store. So AliExpress is a website based out of China. It's where Chinese manufacturers can sell their products directly to the consumer. And what we're gonna use this site for is they sell anything and everything on here. And we're gonna find the products we need and import them from this site 
into our store. So what we're going to do when a customer purchases something from our site is they're going to purchase it from our site. And then once they've purchased it from our site, we purchase it from this site and tell them to ship the order to our customer. So we never see the product. So just like any other retail business, we become the middleman. We are just providing the platform for the customer to find and purchase the product. And our profit will be made by selling it to them for more than what we buy it for, just like any other retailer. We're gonna go ahead and like I said, we're gonna do a swimsuit store. So let's just do uh, swim swimsuit, just type in swimsuit and so you can put in whatever you want to sell in your store. Um, so this is what you're going to want to do. It's going to automatically sort by this best match. What you're going to want to do is sort by orders. So the reason we sort by orders is to prove that these products have sold. So it does a few things. One, it tells us that the product is popular and selling, which is really important. You want to sell products that are already selling well in the marketplace, maybe not they don't have to be selling exceedingly well, they just have to have some sort of demand. Uh, the second reason we sort by orders is because not all of these vendors, not everyone selling on here is actually a good vendor. I've had situations where we've sold a bunch of products from something but the vendor couldn't fulfill on the order. So we had all these orders and we had to refund all of them because the vendor just wouldn't ship out the order. So we are dealing with just any random vendor can come on here and put this up. So if we sort by orders, see, you can see right here how many have sold. This one sell, sold uh, 14,000 of this one have sold, which means that of course it's selling, it's popular, and there's probably nothing wrong with the vendor if people keep ordering it. So a good way to see if these are good stores or not, obviously these have a bunch of sales, so you don't really have to be too concerned. But another way you can uh, tell is right here, this is the store it's from, and this is the review of this product, how many it's sold. If you click on the store here, it'll open up a new tab and it'll give you uh, this store's site, everything they sell. But what's more important to you as a dropshipper is up here, this is what you wanna look at. So. These are the positive reviews that this store has. 97% is pretty good for AliExpress. Uh, you could see if you hover over it, the shipping speed is the only thing that's a little bit below average. Everything else is good though. Also, they've been open for two years, which means they're not new. They're a little bit experienced here. So this is a good store to buy from. So let's go ahead and add this swimsuit into our store. Uh, all you gotta do is if you've installed the Chrome extension, all you have to do is click on this, push product to Oberlo. And if I click on that, come up here, it'll say adding product to import list. All right, so now that we go, we if we go back to Oberlo, uh, let's pretend that Oberlo wasn't open. If you just go to Shopify and go to apps again, you should see all the apps that you have installed and you could just click on Oberlo from there. So now if you go back to this import list, you can see very easily, here's the swimsuit we just got from AliExpress.